What is up guys, Ricky here back with another recipe tutorial video and today we're going to be doing the high protein shredded chicken in the slow cooker. Now this recipe is so delicious, it's so simple and it's very versatile. You could, you could eat this chicken alone with some cheese on it, you could put it in salads, you could make a chipotle bowl out of it. It's very versatile and it's very easy. And what's even better about this recipe is that it's cooked in the slow cooker. So you set it in the morning, you close it, you set it for six or eight hours, and you have your whole day to do whatever you need to do. And it's cooking and when you're done and you're ready to eat, when you're ready to feast, you open it, you set your plate and, it, and you eat. It's ready, so, so let's get going. So, so all you need is three ingredients. You need some chicken breast, some taco seasoning, and some, some salsa. That's all you need. That's the base. And then after it's done, you put it on your plate, and then you could put some, uh, some Greek yogurt, you could put some, some sour cream, you could put the cheese, put some beans, whatever you, however you're eating your meal, you add all the toppings on later, okay? So this chicken has already been weighed. I weighed it 700 grams raw. And it's already been washed, so we're gonna put it in the slow cooker. We're gonna take the salsa. We're just gonna use half this jar. So if you have a smaller jar, just use the whole jar. I'm just gonna use half. the whole pack of taco seasoning. Okay. And we're just gonna take a fork and we're gonna mix it all together. Just You wanna make sure that you get some salsa underneath the chicken so the chicken doesn't burn at the bottom. Okay, so you're just gonna take the chicken, lift it up, get some salsa underneath. like that okay we're gonna put the cover on we're gonna set it on high for six hours and when it's ready we'll open it up we'll shred it and we'll put our toppings and we'll feast all right so I'll see you later okay guys so it's been about six hours and it smells amazing in my kitchen the chicken is ready so we're gonna open it we're gonna put the chicken on the bowl we're gonna shred it and uh, yeah we'll see how it looks okay Cover there. Now the chicken is going to be very tender, so you might want to take uh, two forks or or some some prongs to grab it because it's going to fall all apart. So I'm going to weigh the chicken as I put it in the bowl. And the reason why I'm weighing it again is because I weighed it and I plugged it in my Fitness Pal 700 grams raw. So now it's gonna be the cooked weight, and for my, my meal tonight, I'm only eating half of the portion, so which is gonna be 350 grams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh it all cooked, and then divide that weight in half to have half the calories, half the portion of the chicken. Okay. So you see raw was 700 grams, but cooked with a bit of salsa on top is 600 grams. So you lost about a hundred, you lost hundred grams uh, through the water that was released from the chicken. And we're gonna use that. We're gonna take some of that because there's salsa in there, there's sauce in there, and we're gonna use it for the, the toppings on top of the cheese after. So stay tuned for that, okay? Okay, so there is the chicken out of the slow cooker. So now we're gonna take two forks and we're gonna shred this. Now you see how nice and easy it separates? This is why I love using the slow cooker. Because they're really nice and tender, it's moist. All that flavor from the taco seasoning and the salsa. It smells so good in here. Now 
I'm gonna finish separating this. We're gonna get the toppings and we're gonna build our bowl, okay? Okay, so the chicken is finished shredding. Now we're ready to build our bowl. So, so the whole portion of chicken came up to 600 grams cooked, and I'm eating half the portion for tonight. So I'm gonna measure out 300 grams of chicken. And I'll take it with... Okay. So the base, I always like to have a bit of lettuce. Then we're gonna put 300 grams of chicken. This is gonna be a very high protein meal. This is what we want. This is the goal for this video. It's very high to show you how easy it is to get uh, your protein in, especially in, in, in one meal. Okay, so now we're gonna add some veggies. I sauteed some peppers and some onion. No oil, just some, some spray. Okay. Now we're gonna top it off with some cheese and I'm using the light mozzarella cheese, and we're using 90 grams. The cheese is gonna give it some flavor, some more fats, and of course, some more protein. Look at that, 89 grams. That's because I dropped a piece. Close. 90 grams, perfect, okay. So we got the chicken, we got the veggies, we got the cheese, and now we're gonna add a bit more sauce on the top. We're not gonna let this go to waste. with a bit of cilantro on top. Just like that. And there it is. The simplest high protein slow cooker shredded chicken recipe you're ever going to you're ever going to find and it's going to be the most delicious. And uh, for the total number of calories for this meal, you're we're looking at a hundred sorry not a 100 but 1100 calories. We're looking at 56 grams of carbs, 37 grams of fat, and 139 grams of protein. So with the chicken and the cheese, you're getting all that protein in one meal. And I'm on 2,000 calories, and this is all my protein for the day. So how epic is that? It's crazy. I broke my fast with the Rice crispy, and that was about five hours ago. I did some work. Now we're gonna feast on this big bowl. And later on, I'm going to be finishing off my day with 600 calories of probably some chocolate or, uh, or some, some low-protein pancakes. We'll see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to follow recipes like this, don't forget to pick up your copy of the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook. The link will be in the description. And there's all recipes like this. I'm going to be linking this one in the files group, in the Facebook group. I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So have a good day, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right guys, ciao.